Hey guys, hey, welcome back. But before I talk or do anything else, I have New York fries here today for you. And let's open this up and get to and get to. Okay, so this is just me wanting to try a couple of New York fries quits in. I have had the butter chicken quits in once, which is what this is, and it is like amazing. This is the works. So it has like um, green onion, chili, bacon, cheese sauce, and sour cream. And I know it looks like a friggin' mess, but it's because, well, it is a mess right now. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, let's try the first bite. I'm so, like, honestly so hungry right now. Um, I could probably eat drywall and be happy. I remember when I used to work here, when I was, like, 16, I used to make this for people. Maybe bite! Yeah, I'm, I'm turning comments off, at least for a short while because obviously transitioning right from a inspirational weight loss. Although, I mean, I've only done like four or five videos, but still, I mean, I just don't need them on because I know there's just gonna be shamers and you're a failure and you're gonna die and blah, blah, blah. And this way, I'm not, I don't have to worry about comments or anything like that. I can just do what I want. I know there would be people like, I used to hate you, I'm being mean to you, but now that I see you're trying to lose weight, I like you again, but now that you're back to eating crap, I hate you again. No. If you're here, you're gonna have to just like accept me. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna like like me one minute and then hate me because I'm eating quits in. Like, you know, it's just ridiculous, but that's how it is, I guess. That's just the internet, I guess, as they say, right? It's just not my thing. Like, I've tried it so many times. I just get swayed by people's opinions too easily and that's not healthy to do, especially being a YouTuber, but like, so I just, it's too tedious. I, I just can't. I'll figure it out my way when I do and that's my, my decision. That's my life, you know? In the end, we have to be the authors of our own lives and have the courage to live it how we want to, no matter who approves or not, no matter who's concerned, you still have to, you know? And I would say, you could say, well, watching you eat this is like watching a, an addict shoot up or an alcoholic drink. And it's not, it's not because human beings have to eat. We don't have to shoot up. We don't have to drink. You know, it's like, we have to eat. And who is anyone to say how someone should eat to achieve weight loss? There's so many different ways. I swear people think that fat people should just eat air. And that's what gets on my nerves when I do these weight loss journeys. It's like, I feel like a puppet, like the people who are like, you're eating too many carbs. You're, you know, you should be measuring. Did you measure your barbecue sauce? I can't live that way. You can think the probability of me eating this way won't result in weight loss. But you never know. There are people who do mukbangs bangs and maintain their weight, and it probably takes a lot of hard work and discipline no matter what. But hey, I just want to stop defending my choices. You know, like if you want to, you're not if you're here to watch an inspirational weight loss channel, that's not me. Let's just put it that way. There's plenty of them on YouTube you can watch. Ah, hey! Disprove, thumbs down, whatever. I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna keep the comments off for now. Um, just, I guess till I find my groove and I'm just gonna stop an announcing these plans for my channel, what I'm doing in my life. I'm just gonna put out videos and if you like them, you like them, you don't, you know, whatever. I think the comments will help me too because I, you know, I saw a comment where someone was like, this is your cycle. You're gonna get sick of eating junk after a while and then go back to weight loss. And it's like, when I go back to mukbangs and or doing content that's not weight loss related, period, I'm doing what I want. I get overwhelmed by, and maybe influenced by comments of people who are shaming me for doing that. So then I feel pressured to do weight loss again. And I'm, it sounds like I'm blaming people for my decisions, but that's because it's my fault that I'm swayed by opinions of so many. And I really hate that about myself, that I'm like that. And I think I get, I get hate for that too. You know, that's, that's people recognize that as a character flaw where it's like, it's not easy having thousands of people like have opinions on your life and how you should live it and what, you know what I mean? Or hating you for what you're eating. And like I said, I'm not gonna apologize for letting people down. Like I only did five weight loss videos and I don't, I don't feel like I should apologize for like doing what I want to do. It's not like I'm hurting anybody. I'm, I'm just going to try to keep my weight and all of my personal life online. People are already diagnosing me with diabetes, even though I never said I had diabetes. I don't have diabetes. I got my A1C blood work back today. 
It's not, I'm not diabetic, okay? My blood sugar, when I tested it with my meter, my doctor said it could be high for various reasons when you test it on that, but what you need to go by is A1C, and I'm not diabetic. So no diabetic clinic for me, nothing. I just like, I'm not sharing any of that personal stuff with people anymore because it's like, people just start like conspiring and, and going on Karen farms. New York fries, is good. I, I think it's just me going back and forth. That's why I get picked on for eating this stuff. I mean, <clears throat> let's say, take Nick Akava Adekov. Nick Akava Adekov. I love his videos, watch them every day. But he's like purposely trying to gain weight in his videos. He'll say, well, this make me 300 pounds. And he still gets more likes than dislikes. And I think it's because he's just consistently himself, you know, or like <laughs> people who don't talk about wanting to lose weight or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it is about me um, that people just constantly need to pick on what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna keep my comments off for a while which sucks for my loyal viewers, but I know that you'll still be around when I turn them on. So, you know, um, yes, after a lot of people are gonna say that's so crazy, um, you know, after everything you've been through at the ER, you know, after your diabetes diagnosis, everything. Yes, I know. And um, I guess I showed you that because I don't wanna hide it. You know, I feel like I have a problem and I don't want to hide it. I mean, why should I hide it, right? It's something I'm going through and I wanna be truthful and transparent with myself and with everybody because I think that's the best approach. Um, no matter how wrong something is that I do. So I I just don't know what to do anymore. I mean, I feel, <clears throat> I just wanna say I'm struggling right now. So I just thought I would use this kind of like a video diary today because I don't feel like doing much else. I'm, <sighs> I was sleeping, I was having such a good dream and then I woke up and it's, it's really grim to wake up to a reality you don't like being in. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love my place. I love Pete's, I love my cats. I just don't love the health reality I'm in, like the reality I'm in right now. I did realize something I think that's really important. I don't trust myself at all. Um, not just that, because I knew I anticipated questions from people. I feel like I'm trying to make people understand how I'm thinking. Whenever you're faced with a decision, an urge to eat something you shouldn't, why not just say no? And I try so hard to understand that it's just beyond willpower at this point. I don't trust myself. I have an illness, but not just that. My illness makes me lie to myself a lot. So for example, getting takeout last night, like I'm, I'm completely addicted to eating takeout and I don't know how to stop it. Um, my illness is lying to me and, and convincing me that I don't care anymore. Like I want to just eat out and just, you know, <laughs> just not care. Or for example, I was lying to myself and it was like about the takeout with the, the vegetarian place. Oh, it's just vegetarian, so it's healthier and they make the food from scratch but it's still possible to it's still takeout right at the end of the day it's still takeout so i was lying to myself yesterday about that and then i thought well it's always just i did this so i may as well just let it all go you know just give in just give in just give in just give in and it's like those signals of just give in are like all day long and they're so overwhelming and just it's so tempting the thought of just retreating back into that comfort zone that you've used for so long as like a warm blanket against everything that you're afraid to face in the world you know that removing that blanket and being left with that cold hard reality and that cold feeling of anxiety and just that those horrible feelings <clears throat> and i know that over time they go away but over time right that's i guess as much as i can explain and i know a lot of you have a lot of solutions that are very helpful i appreciate it but um i have to keep looking for some help i did i am no longer seeing the the um, intuitive eating dietitian and therapist. It's nothing personal against them. Intuitive eating, I'm sure, really does is you know it's the way you we want to strive to be, kind of. But normal eaters. But I don't trust myself. I, I don't trust myself to listen to myself. Do you know what I mean? I'm on the list for weight loss surgery. No, it, you know, surgery doesn't solve all your problems, but it does help a lot of people. And you do see you're followed by like psychiatrists, counseling, and stuff like that. But it's a team of people. It's not um, just they don't just snip you and you know they they do help you a bit with some aftercare and things and um i have my diabetes story about now so i have to completely change the way i eat i have no, no idea what the heck i'm supposed to do, what i'm supposed to eat so i will be trying to get as met as much help out of my doctor's visit on tuesday i see my family gp in person and i'm hoping that we can talk about um getting my diabetes under control i'm hoping that the ozempic injection really helps with my appetite i always 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 said i don't want to be diabetic i don't want to be diabetic and then just putting off change eventually led to me being diabetic. Just that I'm in a health crisis and I need to get better and I'm still really figuring out how to do that. 
Um, it's overwhelming. Because I'm the type of person who likes to solve my own problems, take things into my own hands. I don't know if you'd call it like pride. I don't, I don't really have much of that, so I can't be that. But I just think like, I just need some, some help and I just always feel like I'm back at square. Hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? Today I have the works. We are going to try a burger I have not had from the works yet. And uh, let's unbag, let's unbag this baby and let's get to, let's get to. This burger is a KD burger. So it has Kraft Dinner, which is Canadian like mac and cheese, Kraft mac and cheese and cheddar cheese on it. Woo, okay, I just reheated a bit, but it's steaming hot now. Let me catch up. And of course, any true Canadian will tell you, you must have Heinz ketchup with this burger. You must have ketchup at least. All right. All right, so I have two of their signature beach house sauce and their work sauce. I also have some wrecking balls. Wrecking balls are cheese filled tater tots wrapped in crispy bacon and some of their crispy onion rings. They have the best onion rings. Sorry if this light washes me out, but <laughs> yeah. Usually it comes with a bacon, garlic bacon aioli, but they didn't give it to me, so beach house tip. Be bye. Mmm. It's cheese inside. <laughs> These are like little potato sticks that come with it. But you got the outside crispy bacon. Inside is soft and cheesy. All right, look at this big onion ring. Very crispy. I'm gonna try the um. I'm gonna try this. What is this? I think this is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Some kind of dip. Mmm. It's creamy. I don't know how to. I don't know. That one tastes. Creamy, a burger sauce. Oh yeah. We're gonna put ketchup all over this bad boy. <laughs> ketchup mac and cheese. And this is on a uh, Wagyu beef uh, patty. What Wagyu style. <laughs> Mmm. Oh. It's got a really nice fat content. Mm -hmm. Craft dinner brings me back. The wrecking balls are out of this world. They're so good. Oh, this is the roasted garlic aioli, bacon aioli. Okay. Mm. They're so good. Like, I waited all day for this. <laughs> it's like 7.30 at night. <laughs> but, that was delicious. Um, the wrecking balls were the best. The burger, kind of plain. The flavor of the meat was going to do a quick update for you and talk a bit about how I'm doing on this new injection I'm on for diabetes and for weight loss and just in general how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. So to start, I know I've been doing a lot of live streams and I find those easy to do when I'm feeling more down in the dumps. It allows me to interact with people, which does brighten my day up a little bit to talk to you guys and everything and just see the overwhelming amount of support I have from you guys. Also, I'm going through some side effects of this new medicine I'm on and 
doesn't have me feeling too well right now. So I'm on an injection called Ozempic and I'm on a um, 0.25 milligram dose to start and in two weeks I'll be moving up to 0.5 milligrams. Now this injection, once a week injection, is used to lower your A1C and blood sugars and also to lose some weight. I do find that I'm overall just less thinking of food and recently there's more fatigue so I'm just really tired all the time lately, doesn't matter how much sleep I get. So on top of all that, you know that I've been struggling a lot with my mental health, overall motivation to do anything, you know? <laughs> I will put out some recorded videos for you guys and, you know, probably within days or whatever. So I do want to get back on a schedule and I have been changing my name back and forth on my channel, my banners, as if, you know, thinking that changing my banner and my name will like just change everything. <laughs> but I'm in like an identity crisis right now and I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. So bear with me. I know it's amusing to a lot of you and I know it's laughable. Um, yeah, I know. So anyway, but it's just an easy way to just press, you know, turn on the camera and hang out with a thousand people <laughs> or so and just share my day. Cause I really do like having, I really do like sharing um, a lot of stuff. So sometimes I think I don't, but in the end, I really do enjoy it. I'm kind of an attention whore, so I appreciate the attention you guys are giving me. I'm trying to, you know, work with a therapist to get away from that feeling of shame with food. So the problem is everybody has a different opinion on what is healthy, on what someone should eat to lose weight. You know, um, I almost feel like I get told off, I guess, in a sense, by a lot of people. Um, like, what are you doing? No, don't eat that. That has too many carbs. Or it's just like, I, I just envision the tone. And I guess with writing a comment, <clears throat> the tone doesn't really come through as well as, you know, some, maybe sometimes people don't mean to sound that way. But I just, uh, I'm just gonna stop justifying what I'm eating or what I'm doing. I know I put a post up a while ago about making drastic changes and you know what that's part of my disorder is just going from black and white extremes and that's also again in therapy what I'm going to be working to get away from in order to have a repaired relationship with food because no matter what diet you go on if you don't repair your relationship with food it's going to make relapses a lot more likely um, just from experience just from what I'm learning so I just want to say that sometimes yes you see me eat Chinese food you see me eat pizza and I'm not making excuses for what I'm eating. It's just that I'm having a really hard time with extremes and completely eliminating things immediately from my diet. And I'm very impulsive. So a lot of the time I announce things and that has always been to my detriment. So I don't know, hopefully I learn one day that not to be so impulsive, but again, you know, it's something I have to work on. It's something I have to learn to improve. We all have room for improvement uh, because of not following through on certain things and, you know, announcing I want to be super healthy and then eating something that would not be considered uh, healthy. Um, that people just see me as somebody who's not wanting to change, who's not doing things to change behind the scenes. And but you're allowed your opinion, if that, you know, but that doesn't mean that um, if you leave your opinion to someone, doesn't mean that they're gonna follow that. It might not be right for their way of living or whatever. Um, by saying, I'm gonna allow myself all kinds of food, uh, and no food is good or bad. So you might, you might eat all, you know, oh wow, I can eat all this. So you might eat more of it at first. But then the idea is that without that that pressure to eliminate the food from your diet your, your mind is not going to panic and restrict and think okay I'm, I'm, i can't have this, this so I must really really off. sucks and i'm so sorry but for some reason i was having trouble with my new mic and it was plugged in and it wasn't working as you can see for some reason the audio just didn't work at all so i'm just going to i really don't want to throw away this video i just want to really um i guess do a voiceover so i'm sorry next video will you know have the audio that you're used to so in this segment first part of my try on haul i just introduced what i'm doing i have a fashion nova and pennington's haul for you all right guys time for outfit number one my head is cut off but here is outfit number one with the shorts and tank top now i really like how comfortable they are and now if you are looking for a top that covers the bottom part of your belly if you have a big belly like mine that kind of hangs you're not gonna like this type of top but i really like it um it is form-fitting so it is kind of out of my comfort zone but um i really like how it makes my booty look so this is outfit number one guys Outfit number two. Yes, my zipper was down the whole time since I don't have my glasses, I couldn't see it. So this is uh, the Smile tank top. Again, I'm just talking about how it doesn't cover the bottom of your belly. But I actually love the way these pants fit and the way they look better than the shorts. They are really, really nice. And I just, yeah, I really like it. Everything was comfortable. Everything looked nice. I was very impressed. Just gonna give you guys a side view here. And then a back view. And my booty. <laughs> and another side view. Outfit number three. 
the zipper not being done up is really bothering me but it actually really does look um pretty nice like it actually fits okay if i had a strapless bra it would look better but i think it's because it's a more flowy uh stretchy material but there you can see how it looks and i really like the color of this top it's like a wine red i do have a matching lipstick for this i think i will keep this and wear it uh periodically i'll get a nice strapless bra and yeah Okay, guys, here's where I wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. Sorry again about the audio. Next time will be uh, fixed and better, so. Hi, guys. Honestly, I don't need anything else other than my two, my two babies. Yes, you are my babies. I don't care what anyone says. My cats are my babies. Um, tomorrow, I really want to get up and enjoy the day and put all this behind me, um, negative feelings behind me and just really put an effort in how I look and just get out and enjoy the day. So that's what I want to do for my video tomorrow. Um, and today, just, I guess I have some positive news. I spent the better part of the day researching and finding, you know, different therapists um, in my area. So I was able to find one. Um, I came across a website that had all kinds of resources for um, people dealing with uh, eating disorders and addictions. So like I mentioned in my before video, there are a lot of um, expensive rehab centers, but, um, ugh, you ever get like mouth gummies when you're talking? <laughs> um, I came across a um, therapy center that um, there are some therapists who specialize in things that I'm looking to deal with. I have a long list of things that I need to deal with, so I'm actually going to make a physical list of things that I want to tackle in therapy. So yeah, so some of the things that I really need to tackle obviously are just um, behavioral changes, um, my eating disorder, uh, food addiction, anger, depression, um, some past trauma, uh, grief with the hysterectomy, this breakup, these life changes, just everything, <laughs> adulting, um, stress of life, just somebody to give me their professional opinion on some direction, anything, you know? So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm reconsidering OA. I'm just not a big fan of a 12-step program, but I'm willing to give it another chance and look at try to look at it at a different angle. So if some of you have used that program and can offer some kind of insight, it might be the super religious aspect of it, I just don't get. So there's that. So I have an appointment booked for Monday with the therapist, which it's Wednesday, so it's not too far off. Um, I also am doing a reboot with my the weight loss doctor who I had that meal plan with. And I think that I definitely need to follow some kind of guidance and structure. And I think this, if I go see this doctor once a week, um, then I have that support. Um, logging what I'm eating, which I think is very important at first. And it's made by a nutritionist. This plan is made by a nutritionist um, who I see once a week, well, I'll be seeing once a week. I've gone over that plan a few times. Like I have that booklet and all the, you know, it's kind of like a Weight Watchers, but not really, kind of like a point system. I just found it to be well balanced. And I think that's important for me, uh, especially as somebody trying to fight uh, binge eating disorder. And a lot of people were wondering, um, I think I've just seen some comments floating around somewhere. I don't, I need to stay out of comments where it was like all these, you know, larger YouTubers who claim to have binge eating disorder and never been diagnosed. I've actually been diagnosed. I see a doctor at a, an eating disorder clinic and I have been formally diagnosed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not that I want to be, I'm just clarifying that. So I'm also restarting that program at the Ways of Loss Clinic on Monday. In the meantime, I have my booklet still I can refer to and try to eat with that accordingly, right down when I'm eating, bring it to my session. Um, so I'm feeling positive about those things. I don't give it a chance. I just kind of veer off and go like give into my old ways, my old habits give into my addiction every time. So I think I'd, I really want to get see what would happen if I just give it th even 30 days. And obviously I plan on doing it <laughs> forever, but I just want to just take it a chunk of time at a time and start with, okay, I'm going to do this for a full 30 days. I'm going to work this doctor's program for a full 30 days and see what happens. Um, so yeah, so I know I change the content on my channel a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, things are easier to do. They give me an excuse to eat like crap. Um, they're more lucrative in a way, uh, but like, are mukbangs worth my health? Like, are they worth my, like, my health, my life? Like, <laughs> you only get one body, you only get one life, like, and I'm totally doing that, like, deteriorating my health for money and for views or, you know what I mean? Like, because being alone is going to be really hard on me. I'm very dependent emotionally. And I'm going to be trying to be completely independent because I don't want to move from here back in with Pete and be dependent on him financially. Anyway, I know the key to not going into a deep depression when I move out is keeping our place really clean, organized. It's going to be a fresh start, fresh apartment. Um, I've, I'm like an F5 tornado. I've done a lot of destruction uh, in my past 
and even up till now, in my life and the life of others around me. And that's how I feel anyway. Um, and food addiction eating disorders can be very lonely. So I disabled the comments on my previous video. It was just really overwhelming. Um, please and thank you. So just let me know if you would like to, if you're going to join me on this journey to healing and that would probably give me some reassurance, some ease of mind that people are still going to watch me and care what I do. I'll be at Sweetest Pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you and you're going to eat it up and you're going to watch me. <laughs>